Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have some tiered trays for you. So when I was sitting down to do my Easter trays, I had made one with my big Amazon tray, and then I had a couple more pieces that I wanted to use on the tray, so I made a couple more with that tray too. So you have three trays in total for Easter with my Amazon tray. I just felt like really inspired by these pieces, and I knew they would fit best on that tray, so that's what I did. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get to tiered tray in. My first tray, I really wanted to use this Easter sign that I picked up, I want to say dollar spot, forever ago, and I think I might have used it on this tray before, I don't know. But we are going to set it over here today, and then I thought my new gold bunny I picked up at Target would go really well, so I thought I would showcase him kind of up here. And then I also have these eggs with some gold on them from Target dollar spot, long time ago, and I wanted to showcase these, so I thought the best way to do that was with this larger cloche. And with this large cloche, I can fit five in there, I think. So there's one color I don't have in here, which is purple, because they came in a pack of six. So I thought that was really pretty up there and would go well with the rest of the like gold and the blue and everything on that tray. So then I just started filling things in. I have this little jar. I can put jelly beans in here. It is food safe, but it has this little cute bunny. I wanna say this is from Hobby Lobby and I just thought that would look really cute right there. And then I was just playing around with my other stuff and I have these little um, tobacco baskets that I think you can find them now in either the Easter or the Spring Shop because they have a brown and a white. And I don't know, I just thought that would look kind of cute up here, kind of balanced behind. And then I grabbed this white ceramic bunny, Target Dollar Spot, but they do have more of them this year and then since i did those like books with the tulips for valentine's i thought maybe that would look cool here with some tulips so i just grabbed my white and cream colored books set them in the back there i think i had them going the other way last time so it is a little different and then i just have these um fun you know pastel tulips from the dollar spot they do have more this year some ombre ones and yellows and pinks and oranges and light pinks and stuff. And then I have my two little pom-pom carrots here that I thought would go well kind of with the theme. And I put the cream one up here. I don't know, I just thought that worked well with everything else. And then I put the carrot down here for the orange one. And then for this, to, so I didn't leave it empty, I just grabbed some more of my old eggs and popped those in there to give a little more color down on the bottom. And there is my Easter tray. So like this one was inspired by my Easter sign and the gold bunny. I really wanted to use those, so I with the gold accents. I think some of those little gold bunnies you could kind of fill in down here, but my store does not have them as a filming time. Second tray, my focal piece or my piece I really wanted to use was this new little cage of bunnies I got from Michaels. Kind of doesn't fit everywhere. It mainly fits kind of right there. Or you could technically like, you know, put it in the back. So I have it up front here. And then I just gathered stuff that I thought would look good with it. They kind of fit the theme. So I wanted to bring in a little more orange of the filler piece. So this is that piece from Walmart. I thought I could set back there. I grabbed some of these light green little bowls I have from Ikea. And then since I have bunnies here, I thought my little Ray Dunn bunny and hop little egg would look cute with this, kind of bring out the bunny theme a little bit more. I have this bunny with the carrot. I wanna say this was a, I wanna say Shaco, possibly Walmart from a long time ago. And I just kind of wanted to use that like off to the side because then I grabbed this little basket. I didn't like it in the front as well with like this bunny. I thought it looked kind of just like good in the back as filler, but also like this a cute little piece. And then I ended up putting this little egg garland from Target Dollar Spot last year. 
here in my little basket. Looks like my basket of eggs. Kind of draped it down there like that. So my top is pretty much finished. I just wanted to add a little black and white check eggs in there. I thought there was enough orange, so I went with the black and white check. And then also down on the bottom, I grabbed my little mini dough bowl. I moved this out of my bedroom, so now I can use it again on my trays. So I'm just gonna set that over here. And then I have these three, um, this one is coming apart. I have these three carrots. They're from a pick, but I believe Hobby Lobby sells them just like singly now. These are some of my favorite ones to use. And I just kind of arranged them just nice and simple there. And then as I was looking at this, I just thought it like needed something. So I decided to grab my little napkin I have. And I use these napkins usually on my ladder, but I also bought them for my tiered trays. I'm just gonna set that here. And this is just a nice versatile green that I use for all different seasons. And then I just wanted to pop in a few more little eggs up here to kind of garnish my little hole I have. I'm gonna do some adjusting here. And there is my little bunny tray. I just love how this just adds a little bit. And you know how I love my little garnishes. I tried to put garnishes up here, but it just kind of clashed with like the bunny garland so I didn't like that and then I just have some simple fillers in the back to kind of round out the tray I have been doing maybe not as full of trays I kind of did both you know more simple trays and then more full trays And final tray, this little bunny statue I picked up at Walmart was my inspiration. And I just knew I had to have it on this tray up here like this, like it's leaping. I just was in love with it. And then I just kind of picked out items that I felt went well with that. So I did pick out a sign. I used my bunny trail sign, kind of put it over here off to this side this time and then I grabbed my little kind of like greeny bunny canister that I got at TJ Maxx. I just thought the color went well with the bunny trail and then I do have these eggs from Hobby Lobby before they change their colors that have that blue and the green and the pink and then kind of the creamy color. So I just filled up one of these baskets, metal baskets and that is from Hobby Lobby also. And then up on the top I really also wanted to use this little bunny butt. It does have have a hanger on it from Target forever ago and I just thought I would kind of stand that up here. I just thought it went with like the bunny trail and that. I just thought it all flowed well together and then I also grabbed my little pink stripe bowls from Target Christmas clearance. And I do have to put a wood slice under this or it doesn't quite fit, they're just a little too wide. So I just grabbed a little kind of skinnier wood slice to put up there with it. And then I did put three eggs in there. Usually I kind of have it tipped so you can see the eggs a little better. Same line as the eggs in the basket. I wish Hobby Lobby would come out with those colors again. I really do not like the colors they have right now and haven't for a long time. I just thought it needed like some greenery or something in the back. So I took this little metal olive can. This is a boxwood pick from Hobby Lobby over by like the wedding kind of stuff. And just kind of prop that back there. And then I also wanted to do a little bit of greenery, same boxwood pick, but just a little bucket in the back just to add a little bit of greenery back there. And then I was just like, it needs something up here. It just feels really bare. I added little eggs. I just wasn't feeling it. I had a different carrots and the orange was just throwing me off. So I have this bigger grapevine carrot from Walmart. And I just thought that fit the bill. Went in well, kind of like the rustic, but like kind of cutesy. I don't know, elegant theme of that. I don't know what you want to say about that. I just thought it went well and added more of that natural texture it was missing.
as my three Amazon Easter tier trays. Technically it's a called a Creative Co-op is the brand that that tray comes from and it comes in white and black. I did try out the black but then remember I ended up going with my Mel Ray design one. I just like that, the little distressing on that and then the slightly different shape. Um, it would be nice to kind of find a white one that's bigger like that that I could put in my corner because then I could have kind of like three of them to switch out but that's probably a little excessive. I hope you're enjoying my tier tray videos. They were so fun to sit down and create the Easter trays. I love Easter. It's just a fun time. I love the chicks. I love the bunnies. I love the carrots. I love the eggs. We always do an Easter hunt at our house since I was little and then now the boys like to do one too and the little puppies. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which um, piece is your favorite. I don't know if I could put all like the crate, like the cage and the bunny and the Easter sign. That would probably look weird on one tray. And as always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.